Spring is so filled with beauty that we just had to spend some time learning about the wildflowers that are found in this area. We are very fortunate to have been introduced to many experts in our journeys, and that was also true here as we met with wildflower expert and high school biology teacher, George Falkenhagen. Right at the base of the cedar, you can see there's a whole group of trillium. Trillium have these, um, have three leaves and three petals to the flower, which makes them what they call a monocot or monocotyledon, um, two different types. And they're growing around here in this kind of moist soil. They're all scattered through this area here, all these trillium. Now, now this is a protective plant, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So, so it is a, a, a little more rare. And uh, remember that when you come out here and you see something like this, don't just assume you can go along and pick them. You can't do that because right. they are protected. Right. And they bloom in the spring. And the spring time of the year is where the moisture in the ground is really a great time to see these wildflowers. There's a, there is a real early spring flower that's flowers that bloom and kind of a middle spring and a later spring and then we move over into the summer flowers but this is really the key time really a very good time to come up and take a walk and see them yellow ones the, the yellow one yes that's called marsh marigold and they they like to grow and get their feet wet the roots in the water a very pretty flower comes out and stays out quite a while actually they're they've been out now for I bet you two weeks or so this to me would be a pretty spot to um, have a little picnic lunch, look at a bend in the Asabo. This is a nice spot. People come in here and they fish. They've got stairs going down to the bank, but kind of keep people off the bank to keep the bank stable. And it's a great place. I mean, now, Schumach produces those red berries. So later on in the summer, when it's done blooming and the red berries come out, if there hasn't been a hard rain, they have little teeny hairs on the berries that if you put them in a bucket of cold water and slosh them around a little while and strain it through something like cheesecloth and add sugar, it tastes just like lemonade. Oh, no kidding. Yep, it's Schumach <laughs> lemonade.